All right, cool. Let's get started. So, um, I gave you guys the reaction, what was it, calcium oxide? Plus water Thanks. makes calcium hydroxide. The other thing I did was I uh, wrote down the symbolic equation as well just to help us out. So that's CaO, that little S there refers to solid. Yeah. Oh. I'm going over the do now. Plus water, which is a liquid, makes my calcium hydroxide, which is a solid. All right, ladies. All right, so there are several things that I wanted us to do just to practice our vocabulary. The first being is identifying reactants and products. So I often refer to things as, okay, I did, like what are the reactants, what are the products, and we need to know this terminology. So we're always looking for the arrow because the arrow tells us what's on which side. So if it's before the arrow, these are my reactants because they are reacting together. Do you want me to write that down? Yeah? Okay. And that is because they are reacting together. The BC with the slash, that is just me writing because in my shorthand. And then when I look, there's after the arrow. So after the arrow is my products. And I call that my products because we are producing them. So when I ask what are the reactants, you know what I'm referring to. When I ask what are the products, you know what I'm referring to. Very key vocabulary in chemistry. I've also provided the equation there because uh, we will talk about equations and formulas in a more formal setting, but I just want to get you guys used to reading that vocabulary. So understanding things like these little bits of information like solid, liquid, uh, gas, and aqueous that helps give us hints to what type of reaction we're dealing with. Are we okay so far? All right. So, moving on then to try to classify this type of reaction. I gave everyone this summary of notes because uh, I noticed when I was checking your books, a lot of you guys didn't have a chance to get all the notes down and that was on my part. That was my bad. I should have organized that a little bit better for you guys. Um, but there are four different types of reactions. Now, in order to help us figure out which of the four different types of reactions that we have, we should be looking to see how many reactants and products we have. That's our first category. And then the second thing to look for is uh, checking the states and uh, what type of chemical I have. Do I have an element or do I have a compound? So all of those will help give me hints to what I'm doing. So if we're looking at our list, the combination reaction is when I have two or more reactants and the key is that they're only forming one product. So the first thing I would do for categorization is looking at number of reactants, number of products. Precipitation reactions, I'm looking for two reactants and uh, two products. I don't know if I have that listed here. Oh, didn't write that while listed, but you can see what I have the example that we have two reactants, two products. With my displacement reaction, very similar as well. In this case, we have uh, two reactants and two products. And then my decomposition, we have one reactant and two products. So that would be the first way that I would categorize any type of reaction. Are we good so far? All right. So when I look at this reaction here, I notice that I have one, two reactants and only one product. 
So from that information, I know there's only one category that fits that, and that is my combination reaction. So this is an example of a combination reaction. And that was our tip now. If I only had one reactant and two products, then I would call that my decomposition reaction because it's breaking down. And if I have two reactants and two products, then I need to start looking at do I have an element co or compound and do I have any solids? So you're going to have to look at some more information in those equations to get those two. I'll move back over the summary sheet and show you what I mean. Now don't stress if you don't quite understand it yet because today's focus is just practicing that vocabulary and the way we're going to practice that is by playing a game called Gimkit. It's very similar to Kahoot but better. All right? Cool. So just wanting to show you guys because I know you guys have this printed out and I've given it to you uh, to be mindful of the difference between precipitation and let me just change the brightness on that precipitation and displacement reactions. So like I said, both of these have two reactants and two products. Uh, there's two things that I can use to help me figure out which one's which. The first thing is checking if it's an element or a compound, and the second thing is checking the states. So when I look at these guys here, I might grab a different color that I haven't used yet. I see with my precipitation reaction, I have two compounds as my uh, reactants, and I have two compounds as my products. So I only see compounds in those reactions. The other thing I would look for is my states. So I see I have aqueous. Do you guys remember what aqueous means? No, it means dissolved into a liquid. So I take a salt, like table salt, and I mix it into a liquid and it dissolves into it. Do you want me to write that down? I think I actually have it up there. Do I? Yeah, I do. So reactants are ionic compounds that are dissolved in water. So we have a solution. So I see I have aqueous and aqueous. So I'm taking two solutions and I'm mixing them together. When I mix those two solutions together, one of those products will be a solid and I will see a solid form. And then the other one may or may not be a solid, it just depends. But at least one of them should be solid. In my displacement reaction, I will notice that I have an element and a compound and an element and a compound. So what has happened here is my magnesium has kicked out the hydrogen. And when it's kicked out that hydrogen, I now have magnesium chloride. And then my hydrogen is now free in the element form. So that's what we're looking for. We'll do lots of practice, don't worry. All right, what questions do you have? Probably a lot, <laughs> you wanna practice this, okay. So let's move on then, I'm gonna stop the recording and I'll explain Gibbon Kit and you guys will have a chance just to practice this.